Hi, welcome to Triple G Gaming, and welcome back to The Long Dark. So the story mode for The Long Dark is out now, which is wonderful, because I love this game. And I saw the update, and then I saw Patrick Static play start doing the tutorial for The Long Dark story mode. And it looks like it's going to be great. So I want to get into it without watching any more of what he's done. We're going to get into the start, the new story mode. Episode 1, Do Not Go Gentle. How many episodes are there? Five episodes of the story mode. So, Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood separate after plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness, aka snowy Alberta. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores a small town in Milton where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse start. Also apologize as my fan is quite annoying today on my computer. So you may be hearing some white noise in the background and I apologize about that. But I did turn up the volume of the game so that you'd be able to hear it better than the stupid computer fan. I'll turn it up a bit more. Because I can talk as loud as I want to. Mackenzie? I believe that's what they're saying. Hinterland. Um, no. Subtitles is what I want. There we go. So basically, you're just talking to Mackenzie. Who's. There we go. This will be more helpful. So Astrid must be the doctor, and we're Mackenzie. Ooh, ooh. Oh gosh, I'm working it now. Oh my gosh. Am I supposed to tap it? Maybe. It says I'm supposed to tap it, but I'm tapping quite fast. And it's not really getting anywhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Almost got this metal over your hand. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I guess you were in a plane crash, so what is it to expect? The long dark. Okay, so here we're in the tutorial. Journal updated. Okay, so that's the quick tab menu. Just as sprint, like always. Nope. Inventory. There we go. Let's go up here. Oh, you have to hold it now.
Start your treatments. Yeah. Use the stash screen. You can also use treatments from your path menu. Oh, yeah, perhaps I should check the controls just to make sure I know what I'm doing. Uh, that's not the controls. I want the key bindings. Uh, sprint, crouch, interact, shoot, place, aim, throw, reload. Yeah, quit stats is tab. Status is F. Backpack, clothing, journal, map is normal. And that's it. Ah, okay. I'll we'll pick this stuff up there. So, if you've seen that, I have a bunch of the um, survival episodes on on the channel. With, I was going to try some of the challenge modes, but. I just never really got the hang of it. Surviving just on the survival modes was quite a feat for me. So I thought once the story mode came out, then where's the cake? It's up here. Then I'll be able to play it again for you. And we can go through this journey together. Use a campfire. I actually don't mind the radio menu, it's pretty useful. Kind of want it back in here, and there's bones in here, but I think we'll be okay. Can I, can I place it? Oh, oh. There we go. So you got your, if you haven't seen it before, you have your Tinder, your starter, which are matches you can find around and your fuel. So depending on the fuel will depend how long the fire will go for. So we'll use a cedar firewood. For the this tutorial I don't believe failing a fire is possible but depending on yes come on fire. Depending on what you're using to make the fire will result in a higher success of you making the fire but sometimes it takes a couple tries for those who haven't seen it. But yes, yeah, so I'm very excited about this. So we'll probably just get through the tutorial this episode. Fire, fire is life. Let's get warmer. Um, let's check our status. Love off. Bandage. We have one of those. Five bandage. How's our status now? Just a fall. Okay, you lie down, Mackenzie. Unusually, days aren't as fast as these days. If you've seen it, I've been walking around for like a million days in the other one, but Yep, so you just gotta check everything all the time, so Oh, I'm thirsty and I'm hungry You gotta start a fire again to melt the snow but then you don't get pure drinkable water, so you have to boil it so that you can drink it. Or eventually you can find water, water purifying tablets. Sorry, my cat just made a funny stretch over there. So that's basically how you accomplish drinking. Or you can also find water in toilets of buildings that's drinkable, and you don't have to worry. The only problem is water weighs so much. Okay, so we go to the water tab, we'll melt a liter and a half of snow. And you see time keeps going down, which means we're getting hungrier, we're getting thirstier, and our fire is burning out. 
so. Now we'll boil the water, and then we'll drink it, and then we're hungry, so we'll probably have to go find food. Okay, so, yeah, we're hungry too, so. That's not what I wanted. Water. Water. There we go. So we drank some water. Okay, wait a minute. Now to go find some food. Because we're hungry. Okay, so we only look through that. Uh, we don't really need a cardboard box yet. We'll go see if there's anything in crates or containers. Take some sticks for the fire. Wait, birch bark. It takes a year to to burn. Um, but there should be food around here. So you can break down these larger. Um, branches, but it just takes so much time. You're not dying of starvation, sir. You just are hungry. Gotta hold it. More matches and military grade food. So. Not that tab, we want the radio menu. Perfect. Uh, antiseptic. I don't have any antiseptic yet. My goodness. So you can also burn books. I'm getting used to this holding. That's what we needed. Antiseptic. Goodbye. Really, I'm just gonna fall asleep in the middle of the snow. Cool. I guess I probably could have kept searching around. Build a fire that will last nine hours. Okay, so we need to go and get as much wood as we can. Oh, we're so speedy now. There's gotta be more wood around here. Did I just pass some? No, those are foot footprints. Ah, there's a log up here. Yeah, so uh, I know we're cold. So what will be useful is to break these down. And break this box down. Okay, we're gonna have to get back inside books. Okay, we'll get back inside, start making a fire, then we'll come get whatever more we need because he needs to not freeze anymore. Because it is chilly. Okay, let's remake the fire. We'll put everything on the fire and then go get everything else we need and then, you know, may have some water. Yeah, 
this gets more stressful when you're freezing to death and not in a tutorial because if you fail the fire then you could die so right now we're just in tutorial but it will get way more stressful than this which will be good because it's stored mode but So we got four hours so far. We just need to hang out here for a bit. I'm gonna have a bit more water. We're gonna melt a liter of snow while we wait and get warm for a bit. Okay, now we'll go up there and get some more wood, and then we'll come back and boil the water. If we need to get warm in there. Which we probably will. Okay, let's break this crate down. Oh, well. That wasn't exactly the best. We'll break this down. We're, uh, we're kind of freezing to death a bit. And it is getting dark. Well, we need to get back to the fire. Because we are so cold right now. Hmm. Okay, we have six hours now. Okay, we don't want to burn ourselves. Okay, let's um boil the water. You can use the purification tablets, but we might as well boil the water while we're getting warm. Well, I guess we're going to have to go out there again. I know, you just got out here though. We got to actually find what we're looking for. Wood. Break this crate. Anything else? No. That should probably be enough. I'm thinking. Because we got some reclaimed wood, a log, and a couple sticks. Or maybe one stick. I don't know how many I picked up. Is that really not enough?
For being a tutorial, this is a little difficult. Okay, well, let's go back inside. It's supposed to last the night. The thing is, it's practically night right now. Hoping I draw enough sticks though. Really? I legitimately need like two more sticks. Where's, where's the frickin... There it is. Ah. I know, I know. Really? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is just ridiculous right now. I know, I have no energy. And I'm freezing to death. But so it could have been so much easier had I not bothered healing or being warm. But now we're good. <sighs> that was a pain. Something new in our journal. Now we just hang out by the fire. But I'm going to go this side. <sighs> that was a pain to get all the firewood and stuff. I wasn't expecting it to be that tedious. But now we just get to wait here. I'm excited to know. Cool. That's the day done. Okay, now we're going to be starving. Find more food. Ah, see. Crows. Okay. Calm down. It's like it was supposed to fall down so I could find this deer up here. And I guess also Astrid stuff? I'm understanding she and I were the only people. I don't know what the code is for this. The thing is, if I fell here, where did she go? Ooh, cutscene! Cutscene! I'm excited. Oh, plain solitaire. Classic. The art style for this animation is really nice. Ah, that's me! That's me! Hmm. I am the coolest looking Albertan lumberjack pilot. Astrid? 
Will McKenzie. I'm a cool guy. Oh, it's the kids. What brings you? No, no, not me. But I need to get to some of this. Hmm. Right. So you're still a doctor. Mysterious. Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after. Why are you here? After what? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of the Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great right Bear? It's not the bear anymore. I know. Hmm. But I have to get there. Mysterious. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to know. What's that supposed to mean? We came to you. Yeah. I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. What are you working on? Questions. Ask me. Are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Esther? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. Yeah. It's getting worse. It does not look good at all. Yes. I could have been dead. You could have been. When you show up and you want me to just risk my life. Nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to. Well, it's kind of a lot to ask after I've never yes. talking to him for a while. This isn't about that. Wait, who back? Did they have a son? Did she have a son? You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you going to take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. <sighs> the worst what we can. The storm? I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather. Oh. Because I'm not. What's going on? Is there zombies? Is there zombies in this game? Throw your bags in the I'll get started on the next one. Okay. So so we took Astrid, and then we found her stuff, but not her. So where is she? Good question. But I want some of that food. Me too. Dear, that's true. Uh, we might as well harvest it all. I hope I don't die. I'm a little cold. So that's one thing you shouldn't do. When you're starving to death, so we're just gonna wait. Did I grab the wood? Yeah, I did. Is there anything else up here I can get of hers? Setting. Oh, some more wood. I don't need these yet. Oh. Oops. Let's take this wood back with us to make the fire to cook our food. And get warm. And then everything- Hey, your fire's still going. Who would've thought when it took me till night time to build it? Huh. Nine hours is a long time. You don't need to think, you just need to walk. I'll do the thinking for you. Okay.
Okay, cooking the food. I don't... iCloud, stop being a piece of crap. I don't care. Where's my cooked venison? Oh, there it is. I want another. I want another! I'm so hungry! So if you haven't realized, the thing is water, stomach is hunger, cold. The other one is tiredness, the eye. Okay. So where is our food? Yum, 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 yum. I guess we might as well... Well, I already have water, then, don't I? Yeah. Um, I really don't know what else I need to do. I know I can check my journal, but... Well, I guess I'll check that now. See if you're strong enough to climb out the ravine. I doubt it. Want to eat first. A door just opened. So let's go back up to the ravine. Damn it, I hit the wrong button. I keep thinking space is jump, but I can't jump. The struggle is real. Let's just head up here and try to climb the ravine and see what happens. I already know what happens. I probably could have checked my journal and not have dealt with my hunger yet. Climb. Can we do it? Ooh, my bandage can. Nope. Sprained ankle. Hey Ollie, what you doing? I need pills or the rose hip tea. Thank thanks for jumping all over my stuff. Sorry about that guys. My cat's a butt. Okay, so mother named Crash craft rose hips into preparation that can be boiled in water. So we'll be so that's what we needed the rose hips for. That I couldn't harvest yet. So I don't know how many we need to craft. Mm. Can't craft. How many do we need? Um, well, we have 24 now, so I know there's some down there as well, so we'll go check down here. Because I'm not sure how many we need to prepare, but we'll gather more. Anyway, and that was just my roommate coming out of his room. But that's okay. So there's some along here. I hate that now we have a spring ankle and I walk so slow. Like this hasn't always taken forever. There's some more rose hips. Perfect. Okay, harvest those rose hips. This should be enough, I would think. And perfect. Okay. So I believe we have to craft them on the fire? I'm not exactly sure. 
or it might just be in our inventory. But we'll add fuel to the fire. Why not? Um, okay, so I don't do it through there. Let's check our how do I craft? Is this one crafting? Ah, it is. I just needed 24. Okay. Cool. So now, because that was always different when crafting things. I was always at a, for the most part, at a workbench, I thought. And now let's cook our tea. It'll be probably not delicious, I don't know. I never had a rose hip, so not sure what it'd be like. But I guess in this situation anything is better than nothing. Is it in my water? Yes it is. Perfect. Okay, is that Is that all for the day, or do we actually have to go? Do we actually have to go back and climb up there? Um, nothing is telling me otherwise, so let's go. I believe we're getting to the end of the tutorial, but I'm not too sure. I did miss this game though. I just felt it was very repetitive after a while trying to survive. I hit the same thing again. Why am I throwing my stuff on? There we go. Can we leave now? Any time? Okay, well, what am I supposed to do then? See if you're strong enough, climb out of the ravine, explore the ravine. I guess we can explore. We've already kind of looked around at everything, but... Can we take anything from her pack? I want it. Don't tell me I'm stuck. Excuse me, dear. Just gonna walk through you. Okay. Can we do anything with her backpack? Nope. Useless. Okay. Hey, there's some wood that would have helped earlier. Who would have guessed? More rose hips. More wood. Wow. Had I found this earlier, it wouldn't have taken so long. Might as well take some more rose hips just in case we need them. And I don't really know what I'm supposed to look for, but we'll just walk around. Hey, more roses. Cool. See ya. We'll break this crate down too. We might as well. Celerant. Perfect. Stick. Just the stick I wanted. Hey, okay, well, we can't really climb up there. I guess we could rock 
under this tree and just creep over the edge. Ooh, that's a long way down. Now I'm just wandering aimlessly. Because I've looked everywhere in the ravine. Because that's where we are right now. Can't go up there. So, all I was looking for was the coat, which I, I thought I couldn't pick up because it wasn't laying me, but that's what I needed to do. So, we're going to put on our coat. There we go. So, we've got our coat on now. So, that was just a waste of time, but I got a lot of stuff sticks and whatnot, and I got some more water. What's our mission? Time to climb out of the ravine. Let's go do that. So legitimately, yeah, I was just waiting on the one, the coat, which I don't know why it didn't show up as a object to interact with right away, but it didn't. So I wandered got some stits, ate some food, drank some water, you know. But you don't have to worry about seeing all of that, because now, together, we can climb out of this ravine together. We did it. And get some more rose hips. Okay, time to leave this ravine. More roses. We'll get some more of these just because they're so useful. And then we will climb out, and I believe that'll be the tutorial done. Pineapple. And you can see there's not the little plus, red plus sign at the bottom of the screen, so that just means we're not injured anymore from our plane crash. I, I think you will make it if you would walk properly. <sighs> That's the only thing I'm a little annoyed with right now is the terrain kind of gets in the way of walking more than I've noticed in the past. Getting near the top, we can do it! More rose hips. Can't have too many rose hips. You probably could, but you know. Okay, so we are out of the ravine now. Well, I guess we're not technically out. More pieces of the plane. Oh, there's a beautiful plane. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to watch this cutscene, and that will be it for this episode. So they were married. They've done something like this before, I don't remember. She's rogue. She's a rogue doctor. <laughs> That does not seem normal. Is that the Aurora Borealis, or is it something else that happened to cause the... Okay, Chapter 2, Echoes of Astrid. So we're going to leave it there for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!